Alright. This is the superior side of the skull. See, this is the skull, and I'm just showing you this part. Okay. Let's start labeling. Okay, this is the anterior um, cranial fossa, middle cranial fossa, and posterior cranial fossa. This is the frontal bone, frontal bone, temporal bone, uh, occipital bone, and then the parietal bones are along the sides right here. Okay, in the anterior cranial fossa, this is called the cribriform plate. And then the cribriform plate sits on top of, or, no, this is called the crystal galley, and the crystal galley sits on top of the cribriform plate. And then um, this is the greater wing of the sphenoid, and this is the lesser wing of the sphenoid. In the lesser wing of the sphenoid, um, in between, you'll see the optic foramen, which are these two holes. And then um, you'll see right here is the supraorbital fissure which you can see in anteriorly, which is right there. <laughs> you see that? Mm -hmm. Back to the this view. Um, this is the foramen rotundum, foramen ovale, right here, and then the foramen venosum is that little tiny hole right underneath. This hole right here is the um, foramen lucernum, and above it, right here, is the cella trisica, which um, holds the pituitary gland. And then um, down towards the posterior cranial fossa, you can see the internal acoustic meatus. Um, here is the jugular foramen and the hypophosphal foramen. And the biggest hole in the brain, or the skull, <laughs> is the foramen magnum. Yeah, I think that's it, right? Yep.